Hey everybody, I am David, and today I want to talk about a new trailer that dropped today, Christopher Robin. Uh, this is the new Disney film uh, that is going to be their live-action take on Winnie the Pooh. Now, unlike some other previous live-action remakes, uh, they were full-out remakes. This is not a remake. Did I call it a remake? I think I might have. Uh, I should clarify that this is not a remake. This is kind of like a sequel in some ways uh not a, a direct sequel maybe not i don't know we'll, we're gonna have to see it when we watch it um but this has more of a hook type of feeling hook meets toy story 3 maybe a little bit uh where there it involves an older christopher robin a christopher robin who has moved on forgotten who he has been grown up is living you know the real life and maybe reconnects with friends from the past who have to remind him on who he was about his uh, childlike innocence. Um, and I'm going to admit, when this trailer started, there was a part of me curious uh, because it, it seemed very familiar to the Mary Poppins Returns trailer, uh, which is why I didn't do a, a trailer review for that one because... I, I thought it was fine. It didn't get me excited for Mary Poppins Returns, but look, that movie's going to do good regardless because it is going to bring out the same nostalgia that this trailer brought out for me uh, because they kind of had the same beats going for it. What really made this trailer special for me was when Winnie the Pooh was introduced and you hear that voice uh, voiced by Jim Cummings who did the voice in the late 80s and 90s and onwards. Uh, I, I still think he does Winnie the Pooh today once in a while. Um, he also did the ver voice of Tigger, I believe, as well. Um, so when you hear his voice, that's it. I start tearing up. The nostalgic memories start going. Because, I mean, what kid hasn't watched Winnie the Pooh? Uh, I'm sure there's a couple out there that haven't. But if you're someone like me that did watch Winnie the Pooh when you were younger, this is definitely going to hit all the right places. Um, I really love the line where he, you know, Ewan McGregor says, oh, I cracked. And Winnie the Pooh goes, he starts touching him and he says, no, well, you haven't cracked, but you do have a, a couple of wrinkles here and there. And that kind of had me chuckle a little bit because, you know, Christopher Robin is old now and he, he's grown up and he has wrinkles. He's That's a sign of you getting older. Anyways, it, it you know, I... This and the way Winnie the Pooh looked looked adorable. He, he looks adorable. I'm not gonna lie and say that he doesn't. And usually, I'm someone that like denies when something is cute. But this one, I'm gonna I'm gonna say it right up front. Yes, Winnie the Pooh looks adorable. And there's like conversations going on on Twitter comparing Paddington to Winnie the Pooh. Look, when Paddington was first introduced. Uh, I'll admit I didn't like the design at first. It got some getting used to, and especially when you see Paddington in his politeness on who he is as a character. Okay, it starts warming up to you. But this is Winnie the Pooh. He looks exactly like Winnie the Pooh. The eyes, uh, the the little red shirt, everything. It's there. Plus Jim Cummings' voice makes it Winnie the Pooh. I mean, I'm already sold on on this movie, and this is coming from somebody. Who did a video maybe two, three years ago when this Winnie the Pooh movie was announced. And they, because Disney was playing all these live action remakes, reboots, whatever. And I was like, I don't I don't want Winnie the Pooh. Give me Aladdin. Give me the Lion King. Get this Winnie the Pooh out of my face. And then I read the, the description on what the plot is about maybe sometime last year, late last year. And then I'm starting to think about it. I'm like, this this sounds like it could be like Hook meets Toy Story 3. And funny enough, it looks like it is going to be that. Um, this is going to be a tearjerker of a movie. I can just feel it. This is going to be one that is going to have people crying by the end and getting in touch with their childlike innocence in all of us. Because I think some people grow up a little bit too fast. They think, oh, you know what? I'm growing up now. I have to let go of the past and be a real man. Like, what defines a real man? Is it letting go of your your innocence, or is it someone that just is a good person at heart and treats everybody with respect 
and you know is polite just like what winnie the pooh actually is and and paddington as well i think these are characters that we should remember because they've taught us some of our morals when we were kids so i i don't think uh, we have to grow up so fast and i think that's what these movies are trying to get us to to remind us about you know movies like this they should be anyways to remind us of who we should be what they taught us when we were younger with that being said, guys, this trailer looks great. I can't wait for this movie. If you told me three years ago that I'd be excited about a Winnie the Pooh movie, I think you're crazy. But you know what? That 2010 Winnie the Pooh film, it was the 2D animated film, one of Disney's last 2D animated films that they did, was Princess and the Frog and Winnie the Pooh. And that 2010 Winnie the Pooh animated film was actually pretty good. I know they did a whole bunch of other ones like the Tigger movie and the Piglet movie and the Search for Christopher Robin. Those were like direct-to-video cheapness. Um, I'm not talking about those ones. There actually is a, a, a 2010 Winnie the Pooh. It's just called Winnie the Pooh. Check it out. It was a really nicely done animated movie. It got really good reviews. Um, it's more for little kids, but there's some things there, I think, for nostalgic memories uh, that that movie really gets right. And I think uh, I'll recommend that movie to everybody. Uh, and I'm hoping this one will definitely get the success that that movie didn't because I, I know it wasn't a huge box office draw. Uh, it didn't make that much money in theaters. Uh, but I think this one will. I think this one's going to speak to a lot of people. And I can already see this one being a huge hit uh, later on this year. So I'm looking forward to it. Tell me your thoughts. Do you guys? Did you guys check out this trailer? What did you think of it? Subscribe to my channel. Like this video, especially if you agree with me. And until next time, take care.